गेस्ट्रो एंथ्रोलॉजी एनिमेट डिस्पेप्सिया इंट्रोडक्शन एंड क्लिनिकल फीचर्स हेयर इज द जी आई टी सिस्टम नाउ कम टू द केस अ थर्टी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड मेल प्रेजेंट्स विद अ फोर मंथ हिस्ट्री ऑफ एपिगेस्ट्रिक डिस्कम्फर्ट एंड पेन अलिस्टाइटी नोजिया सिम्टम्स एग्रोवेटेड बाय फूड यू नो विच ऑर्गन्स आर्टिकुलेट दिस सिम्टम्स द फॉरगेट ऑर्गन्स स्टमक डिटनम टू एम्पुलर गॉल पेटर लीवर टू पैक्रियास गैस्ट्रो डिटनल ओरिजिन मोस्ट लाइकली मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ डिस्पेप्सिया गॉल ब्लेटर सिम्टम्स यूजली वेरी पेनफुल एंड एपिसोडिक लिवर नॉट अ सोर्स ऑफ डिस्पेप्टिक पेन पेंकेटिक पेन यूजली वेरी स्वीयर एंड रेडिएट्स अराउंड टू द बैक सो सो लेट्स थिंक अबाउट दिस पिक्चर वट इज पैथोलॉजी इन दिस पिक्चर Mucosal disease, gastritis, duodenitis, peptic ulceration, adenocarcinoma, carcinoid. Here is the sensory or motor dysfunction also. Sensory motor disorders, term used: endoscopy, negative dyspepsia, non-ulcer dyspepsia, functional dyspepsia. now always remember there are two causes of dyspepsia mucosal 25% of dyspeptic patients are mucosal and other one is functional 75% of dyspeptic patients are functional the rom3 criteria defines three dyspeptic syndromes the first one postprandial fullness and postprandial distress the second one early stadi also classified as postprandial distress the third one epigastric pain or burning back to the clinical presentation of dyspepsia here is the history taking duration of symptoms frequency and duration episodes aggravating and relieving factors alarming features and predisposing factors so alarming features in dyspeptic patients these are the alarming signs and symptoms nausea and vomiting the second one unintentional weight loss the third one dysphagia inquire about factors causing mucosal disease these are the factors smoking alcohol aspirin and non steroidal what causes symptoms in 70% 75% of patients with no mucosal disease the stomach has three main functions accommodates the meal adds acyl pepsin and intrinsic factor to the digesting food pumps all liquid of semi liquid chyme into the duodenum now the parts of stomach the fundus distend through the process of receptive relaxant on relaxation under vagal control this creates a temporary storage storage compartment for the meal the second one mucosal folds of the fundus and body secrete acyl intrinsic factors and pepsin pancreatic auxentic cells produce acyl and intrinsic factor chief cells produce pepsinogen peps acyl required is convert pepsinogen to pepsin the third one the antrum the stomach pumping compartment demands a pump only peristaltic when food in stomach 
Peristalsis occurs at frequency of 3 cycles per minute every 20 seconds. Peristalsis is triggered by a gastric pacemaker. The fourth one in the duodenum level. In the duodenum, peristalsis occurs at frequency of 12 cycles per minute every 5 seconds. Requirement for precise coordination of enteral and duodenal peristalsis. Always consider disorders of gastric physiology in endoscopy, negative dyspepsia, 75% of patients in the fundus. We can, my fundus can accommodate the second one in the antrum level, gastric pumping dysfunctioning. And in the third one, duodenum level, failure of antral and duodenal coordination. GID disorders has direct effect on the central nervous system. These effects are increased visceral sensitivity, also implicated in endoscopy, negative dyspepsia related to sensory cortex processing. Any question? No, but I have. Do the presenting symptoms have distinguished mucosal from sensory motor disorders? Here is the answer. Unfortunately, dominant symptoms don't distinguish mucosal disease from physiological dysfunctioning. In summary, come to the case. A 35-year-old male presenting with dyspepsia symptoms including nausea, suggests no ulcerogenic medication, no alcohol or cigarettes, no weight loss.